Hi, this is Kenny from Ransom Power. Recently, I received the inquiries from the customers about what kind of charge method can extend the life of the lithium and phosphate batteries. So today, we are going to talk about the charge and the charge ticks about the lithium and phosphate batteries. When customers buy the lithium and phosphate batteries, which may be used to replace the previous lithium battery system, there will be the questions at this time. Is it the charging weight of the lithium ion phosphate batteries the same as the lithium batteries? Is it possible to charge the lithium batteries with the lithium battery charger? Let's review the common way the lithium batteries are charged. Generally, three stage charge is used. The first stage, constant current charging. The charge speed is fast and the charge current is large. The duration is about five to six hours. The second stage, constant voltage charge in order to avoid the generation of the visual electricity. The duration is about 2-3 three, three hours. At this time, the battery is basically fully charged. You jump to the grid light. The third charge, trickle charge, also known as the maintenance charge, light flow charge. The stage is about 1-2 to two hours. Therefore, the whole charge process of the Lacy batteries is about 8 to 11 hours. Lithium and phosphate batteries charging is divided into two stages. The first one is the constant current charge, to cross to the terminal voltage and then change to the constant voltage charge. For example, a 3.2 volt 100 ampere battery cells has a terminal charge voltage of 3.65 volt. The battery cells is charged at a constant current 50 ampere. The charge rate is 0.5 C. At the beginning, the battery cells voltage is increased with the large slope. And while the voltage is close to the 3.65 volt, it changed to 3.65 volt constant voltage charge. And the current gradually drops with the voltage in little change. When a lithium battery system is replaced by a lithium ion phosphate battery, is it safe? Our lithium batteries generally can use a standard constant voltage lithium battery charge devices as long as it meets some certain standard. The charger cannot include the software removal device. For a 12 volt lithium ion phosphate battery, the bulk charge is 14.6 volt and the recommended flow charge is 13.8 volt. The battery charge devices should have a low temperature activation function, which can also wake up the lithium ion phosphate batteries in an over discharge protection mode. In particular, the solar inverter system is also friendly to the lithium batteries. In addition to the lead acid battery mode and communication compatible lithium battery mode, there is a user device setting. It can be used for the lithium ion phosphate batteries without communications and support the self-setting for the charge and discharge parameters to more adapt the battery features. When you charge the lithium ion phosphate battery in series or in parallel, please make sure that the battery voltage difference before connection is less than 0.1 volt, which will minimize the possibility of the imbalance of each battery. If your battery is out of balance, you also can use the charger to recharge the battery separately to rebalance it. Therefore, if there is the possible and there's the condition, you also can use the charger to charge the battery separately before you're doing the parallel or series connection. A customer also asked whether the lithium ion phosphate battery should not be charged to 100% to extend the battery life. When the lithium battery is charged to 90% and 95%, the so-called shallow charge and the shallow discharge can prolong the service life of the batteries. Considering the performance of the lithium battery materials, it's generally recommended to start the charging when charged 80% to 90% of the ternary lithium batteries, which is conductive to extend the service life of the battery. If the battery is fully charged, it may lead to overcharge of the battery, which will also affect the performance and the life. That's why, like others have said, it's best to charge the ternary lithium battery to 90%. Whether the lithium ion phosphate battery is charged to 90% or 100%, there's no problem. For the lithium ion phosphate batteries, charged to 90% can also effectively to extend the battery life. Then when using this shallow charge and discharge method, it's better to make a complete charge and discharge cycles like 100% discharge for the battery periodically, such as once a month, so that the BNS can update and celebrate the SOC. Next, let's talk about the discharge of the lithium ion phosphate batteries. First of all, we will see the impact of the temperature on the discharge. 
at an extreme temperature, electro and electrolyte no longer have the optimal shape to enable efficient lithium ion exchange. At low temperature, the electro contracts and as a result, the ions cannot enter. The electronic conductivity of the electrolyte decreases too. Ions move more slowly between the two electrodes. Under the effect of their heat, the electrodes expand, making it easier for the ions to move. The electrolyte is also more conductive. However, it treat warm temperature damage the electrode. So please keep a good temperature conditions at which where the battery is being discharged. As we all know, the discharge current of the battery is controlled by the BNS. That is, each battery has a maximum working current limit. Therefore, when we use the lithium ion phosphate batteries, as long as the working current is not exact to BNS, the battery can supply the power to the system. But from the point of the view of the prompt life, the low discharge rate can optimize the battery capacity efficiency and extend the battery life. Some customers also ask, can I use the battery 100% completely? The lithium ion phosphate battery cells will usually have a fully charged voltage level of 3.65 volt and a fully discharged voltage of 2 volt. It might seem obvious that overcharging is putting an excess of energy into the cell, resulting in excess heat causing damage to the cell. The fully charged and discharged cycles is called 100% depth of discharge. There is a direct relation between the depth of the charge and the cycle life of the battery. The shallower the depth of the charge, the higher the numbers of the cycle given by batteries. About the battery self-discharge, it's a non-linear with the time. That means a given battery self-discharge rate will change with the passage of the time. The battery self-discharge rate heavily depends on the temperature. The hotter a given battery is, the quicker the battery will self-discharge. Most of the lithium ion phosphate batteries have a 0.5% to 3% of the self-discharge rate per month. That means a battery will lose its charge 0.5% to 3% per month. At low temperature, this discharge rate will increase drastically. I hope today information is helpful for you of the charge and discharge. If you still have any questions, please leave a message and see you next time. Bye.